call the spaceships to Devonport. Prepare for Div Anarchy and interface with a couch in space. It's space couch time. Uh... I usually say I don't sing it every time, but lately I have been singing it every time. Uh, not the same way, because we like to keep you on your toes, because everything's trying to kill you all the time out here in space. Um, do you know what else is trying to kill you? With amazingness is, of course, our advertisers, brand new for this week. Uh, we've not seen them before, but we'll try it out. Uh, this new record label called tiger squawk records uh hey greg what's up man um tiger squawk Records, new smoldering embers of aggression morris blacks on that uh oh new ghost proxy with protonet it's really good severed skies delivers like an agrotech thing with dreamscapes uh she kills the new single from israeli uh stop the new single from gasoline and vertebrate uh, you want to check out Ooh, New Isserly. She did the uh, Piece of Paradise soundtrack. It's really spacey. Bitman hacked off Synthwave to your brain. So happy from Skull Cultist. Uh, and uh, Insulin Shocks, 62 free tracks of industrial music. Dark Force Fest, the new single from some band called The Gothsicles. Bix Lee selections from Crystalis, the Nintendo game. He industrialized them. Rat King's Ghost with Hoffinator. And uh, you can get all that at tigersquawkrecords.bandcamp.com. Greg says, yo, Tiger Squawk, who are these guys? Lol sarcasm. Um, oh, okay. I was going to answer your question, but you added lol sarcasm. Uh, so now I know that you're being lol sarcastic. All right. Oh, and um, I... I sometimes forget, but but not 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 today. Uh, patrons, thank you so much to Gozer Games, IHateArtists.com, Lured by Radium, Dominic, Grim Reaper 4, Higher Bremo Lee, Ray, my buddy, Fly Ahead, my buddy, Walter Magoon, also my buddy, Hunt and Hawk, I think I've met all you guys, definitely my buddies, and Giga Glitch. Uh, who wanted to, of course, promote the Best Friends Animal Shelter. Uh, you can get your plugs in at patreon.com slash gothsicles. Ladies and gentlemen, um, super pumped for this episode of Space Couch. There is a couch under all these balls, by the way. You just have to, you just have to believe. Um, you know, I can show you the proof. Because uh, we're all about numbers here in space. For Roy on Twitch, what's going on? Uh, the best friend sponsor is literally quite the best in streamer history. You are not wrong, sir. Very active chat room today. I dig it. Speaking of chat, I've kind of been like internet circling around our guest today for a while. You know how you do. Uh, Definitely a fan of his music, so this is gonna be uh, this is gonna be awesome. Uh, let's just get into it, ladies and gentlemen. Please welcome Conrad. What's going on, man? Hey, how's it you going? You notice things are going things are going supernova outside here. Yeah, so. yeah. Welcome to space. You know, let me know if it's too cold. We'll try to we'll try to uh, up the background radiation. It's all right. I got man. the heaters going. Okay, got sick, a sick. Space man. heater going. My hey, man. love it. I love it. I I was thinking of renaming the show to Space Ballers, but we'll we'll see. But uh, I don't know. It's Space Couch for now. Um, but we'll start off with um, uh, what I'm calling describe your vibe, like sort of what is Conrar to you. That is, that's a tough one. I think. Uh, to me, it's it's kind of love of old school, love of old games, you know, a mm -hmm. uh, little bit of love of the cybersecurity and all of that. Okay. Doing bringing bringing that in with some some synthesizers and uh, a lot of samples and all that. Hell yeah! All right, <laughs> all right. You you speak in my language. Well, I I am a fan. Um, and in that in that sort of pantheon of things like is uh january 2023's uh 49666 uh tell us about this release uh so 
this uh just a nice ep i'm kind of getting a little goofier with it okay. not so much going into a comedy aspect but kind of getting goofy like you know say like just to throw out names i guess like revco or severed uh -huh. heads where it's you know it has that that hint of goofiness to it uh because -huh. uh, you have songs like tired which is about being tired <laughs> uh, where i got the idea for that song in an uber i was on the really? way home yeah i was on the way home from a cybersecurity conference i'm exhausted and okay. in the car uh let's get it started by the black eyed peas is playing and i'm just like <laughs> Let's no. Let's not get it let's started. Let's not get it started. Start nothing. Awesome. I love. Let's actually take a listen to that. This will be uh, a little bit of tired available now. Right now. And there we are. Now we're back. Yeah. So, uh, good stuff. Uh, kind of, kind of, kind of wild from, uh, from your previous material. Like, did, what, did you just feel like being lighter on, on this from like previous releases or was there some, some impetus for it? You know, I don't think I go in with a certain mindset of, okay how I want things to sound, it just kind of ends up sounding that way. Right. Uh, and I mean, tired namely, cause that is definitely <laughs> like the softest, easiest listening song that I have. Uh, just trying to make it sound kind of dreamy and weird mm -hmm. and all of that. But you go to songs like my mind, which is, you know, harder. I think a living is harder as well. Stuff like definitely the remixes too. Uh, hold on a sec. I just, I dropped my phone that had all my notes on it, and it's like lost in this ball pit somewhere. Um, this is what happens when you you don't turn on the anti grav. Yeah, I really, I really should, I really should figure that out. Um, should have reminded To you. what to what is forty forty nine sixty six a reference? If I could be so bold. So that is uh, that is a cybersecurity reference. Oh, is it? I should have known. Uh, okay. It is. It's a. It's a. Uh, part of a it's a it's a code for an open source uh network intrusion detection thing called snort <laughs> and there are these snort ids there are a bunch of numbers that stand for different things okay. and okay. So, uh, uh, i used to so on. i used to work as a cybersecurity analyst i was on the front lines analyzing oh, network traffic and uh i mean it, the inbound, outbound, internal emails, web traffic, all that stuff. And okay. so we would also get at like eight o'clock, we would have scanners kick off. And when that happened, we would just get an influx, just a whole bunch of alerts with snort ID 49666, huh. which is for uh, database injection attempts. And so my coworkers and I were always like, I'm either going to get this tattooed on me or something. And so I was like, I'm going to make an album out of it. <laughs> so, uh, some of them saw that and were just like, we, uh, we got any, uh, sequel injection going on. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah. A little, 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 little inside baseball for, Oh no wait, You can see that I'm cheating. Uh, if I do it that way, cause I'm just going to, uh, I'm going to do a little bit of this action and, we're just going to figure it out, man. Um, yeah, no, Greg's like, we're using space zoom here. Uh, Greg called me out on it. Um, so we should do, do you prefer people get that at like just Bandcamp or whatever? Yeah, I prefer Bandcamp, but hey, if you want to stream it, you can stream it. <laughs> so check out Conrar, uh, bandcamp.com. That's C O N. R A R uh, for the new uh, 4963 and uh, all the releases almost done here. Uh, oh, wait, that's in. That's the wrong thing. Okay, we'll do a little bit 
of that. So uh, not only are you, uh, well, let's go to this now that I have my, um, so um, thematically it's a little bit zanier. Let's say, like, did you, was this uh, technically any different for you? Like, did you sort of, like, use any new VSTs or, like, uh, anything like that? Or was it mostly, like, an emotional shift for you? I think it was mostly an emotional shift. Okay, I think cool. I've been using the same kind of sample packs and VST. Well, no, <laughs> I used a Silent Hill sounding uh, uh, sample pack, which, namely for Tired. Okay. Um, but otherwise, it's you know same software being used in all cool, of that cool. uh well we'll definitely we'll definitely check that out uh and is that on uh glitch mode uh i don't know if it's tied to that i think it's just on my it's just on my uh okay solo band camp where the time being um with the sort of retro aesthetic you have like this is kind of a cosmic -y woo woo question but like do you ever because like i do a lot of this with like the gospels and like writing about like nintendo games and shit like am i just sort of aping something from the past or is there am i connecting to it in order to create something new does that make any sense like yeah i see what you're saying i think it's definitely that connection to you're connecting okay. to that thing that you love and it's bringing that inspiration into your own work uh -huh. so i mean for me it's like I'll pull inspiration from old video games or something right. like that stuff from like the nineties and stuff like that. And I'm sure as nostalgia shifts, I'm sure like my sound will shift in that direction. Like I'll be like, Oh man, that time splitters two soundtrack. I gotta get the <laughs> access virus. And you know, Oh God. Yeah, I suppose. Yes. I mean, it's all going to go retro eventually, but yeah. Yeah. Right. <laughs> um, Oh, time splitters too, sooner right? than I would like to. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't thought about that in a while. Uh, do you play live with Conroe? Do I what? Do you play live? Uh, I'm going to be playing live for the first time. Oh, hey! Uh, this Saturday, uh, at 10 p.m. on my Twitch channel. So it's my usual Twitch okay. schedule. I always stream uh 10 p.m. Central Time. And uh, I'm just kind of got word of this at like the last minute, so I'm kind of scrambling here in this. All week. right, well, I'm so gonna like, I'm gonna declare this a space cause exclusive. I don't know if that's true or not, but um, may as well be. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so this is awesome. Okay, let's plug this Saturday night. So like less than a week, uh, you want to go to give us the time? 10 p.m. Uh, yep, 10 p.m. Central. Central time. And it's on my Twitch channel. So that's twitch.tv slash this underscore Connor underscore guy. Okay. So this kind of, cause your name is Connor and your band's name yeah. is con.rar. Um, cause we're into file compression. Uh, uh the, <laughs> the, that was my nickname in college. Okay. Uh, then yeah. All right, we have we have we have Conrad live debut. That's going to be super cool. Uh, you pumped? Oh yeah, I'm. Okay. I think I'm more so nervous because okay. I don't have any of the backing instrumentals. Which, in my mind, it's something where I would just play the backing instrumentals and then you know sing along with those. But I don't have those, and I'm like, I'm not going to sing over my completed songs. Uh -huh. So. Uh, over here, I have some gear that I'm going to kind of try and do like a little sort of minimal EBM sort of recreation of things. Whoa. Do, You're not even using backing tracks? As, as what? You're not even using backing tracks. No. <laughs> Damn. Okay. I got to Let me just check the chat room real quick. So I got to do it manually because I lost my f notes in the ball pit here. Uh, <laughs> Wolf Raven says, nice. Science. Fiction is here and says good old nostalgia based music. Heck yeah, that's awesome. AF. I agree, Wolf Rave N. Um Yeah, so like uh not not only is his sound unique, but he is bucking 
all sorts of industrial trends shooing la- uh, backing tracks uh, for <laughs> for live prey, uh, prey live play. Um, maybe if you get like really wild. Um, but um, all right, well, uh, we'll definitely need to uh, hear the breakdown of that. Well, with all this Twitch talk. Uh, let's get into that. Uh, let's play a little bit of a uh, um, uh, just some cuts of your Twitch channel I put together. This will be uh, cut eight. I'm I'm not gonna tell you what the the screamy fall ones are, but they're fucking hilarious because it looks like Sub Zero is getting flushed down a toilet. <laughs> are those electric aquatic armadillos? They sure can be. And we're back. Okay, so that was uh, that was just uh, a snippet of, of Twitch. How have you found that Twitch experience? It's been a lot of fun. Yeah. I started doing it because uh, one of my buddies uh, has been streaming regularly. He started doing that during uh, lockdown and all of that. Mm-hmm. And so I was watching him, and I was like, this looks like fun. I'm going to start doing it. And I kind of started approaching it subconsciously from like an MST3K perspective. Okay. So I would start finding bad adventure games to play so that I can like make fun of them and we can all make Hell fun yeah. of them Love in it. chat and all of that. So uh, yeah, then it just became, all right, I'm just going to be playing some games now. So so what have you been enjoying lately? Uh, ooh, on stream or in general? Uh, either one. All right. Uh, <laughs> uh, let's see. On stream... Uh, I mean, we did some Sims 4 okay. uh, last night, which was fun. And then um, been playing some Final Fantasy X. Also been playing just, uh, we've been doing like PS1 variety streams. <laughs> so I usually have like four games that I play that are always from my childhood. And it's oh, like, all right, let's, let's go through these. We saw and... uh, that bizarre Sub-Zero like side scroller. Yeah, that... Sub-Zero mythologies. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that was weird. That was weird, man. Oh, I forgot to say that uh, we, of course, have summoned Couch Thulu once again. Him I found. My phone's in here somewhere. Um, uh, okay, I, I was going to... Is there any, like, truly novelty or especially shitty PlayStation 1 game uh, those of us who enjoy such things should uh, be on the lookout for? Ooh... Special, ooh, you know what? Especially novel PlayStation One games. There's one that uh, I think last year got a fan translation. Oh wow! Okay, and it's called uh, Racing Lagoon, and okay. it's basically a street racing RPG. What? And yeah, and uh, it was written by one of the guys that wrote Final Fantasy X, and it gets very like existential and everything, which is like, oh, I gotta play this. <laughs> There's a crazy existential. Street racing RP. Oh man! There's even random battles. There's random battles too. Do you where, find like, out that you're in driving, Doc Toretto's be... dream the whole time? Yeah, right. Yeah, like you'll be driving around the overworld, and then like a guy just speeds up behind you, flashes his brights, and then you race him. And it's just kind of that's how that goes. Oh. And when you when you lose, you don't outright lose the game, because what happens is you the winner gets to pick a part off the loser's car. So like you can take some guy's turbo and then you just keep on trucking along or like, you know, if you lose, he'll take your muffler or something like that. Wow. Yeah. Built in economies. All right. Sick. Right? I'll yeah. play some racing lagoon. There's like PlayStation emulators in the world. Um, oh yeah. Cool. Not that I would ever, uh, <laughs> who cares? Who cares? <laughs> um, I gotta get to this. I was talking with my good buddy Angel Spit uh, before the show. Uh, he's also a Con Conrad fan. Asked me to ask you about vintage samplers. Anything you're really loving these days? Ooh, yeah, I do. Oh man, I I could I could talk gear all day, but uh, we only have so much time here in space. Um, but uh, my first my first uh, vintage sampler. 
which was my first sampler. Okay. I still have it sitting in the closet. I have nice. all the floppy disks, the towers of floppy disks. Oh god. I have, yeah. Yeah. I have hold on. Let's let's take these guys out here. Let's all of this is some of them. Okay. Are they like double these are density? Mostly just yeah. the ones that I've made. So Okay. Got those. Uh but it's the Ensonic Mirage. Nice. And it came, yeah, like I said, it came with a bunch of discs. One of those discs has like James Brown samples on it. So it's a lot of like horn stabs and like him screaming. It's oh, wow. yeah, I had the, uh, the like, Yamaha Hi. SU10 and I had to go get yeah. like special discs to like get it. Oh, uh, more death. What's up, man? Like the double dense because the tech is so primitive. It was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> If you if you if you set it like to the the crappiest sample, you got like what a minute thirty seconds of sample time, something. Yeah, uh, yeah. On uh, yeah, on Ensonic Mirage, the lowest sampling rate is like ten kilohertz, and you get awesome. like six seconds out of that. So whenever I'm doing pad samples with that, if I'm ever like I need a choir sound, I always sample that at the lowest sampling rate, and then put the volume between both oscillators at like 50 50 and it will just hard alias and it's just awesome cool like, oh, i can't do pads any other way now <laughs> all right all right no, i love i love the yeah okay now i know the the, the secret like yeah the sampling it's it's such a weird technology you get some bizarre like little happy accidents out of it um Maybe I should bust out that old Yamaha SU10 or not. Uh, <laughs> Do probably. it. Yeah, no, no, it's probably got a family of cockroaches living in it. Um, <laughs> let's do. I'm feeling it. Let's just jump right in to uh, to features. All right, we'll start with. Uh, I gotta. I gotta do a little. Cause it's like space, so it's like you gotta. It, it, everything is like on the knife's edge of, of terror. Uh, so we're playing by the seat of our pants a little bit. But let's do radiation round. Called that because lightning is exceedingly rare in space. Uh, no wrong answers. Uh, here we go. Uh, pie, cake, or ice cream? Uh, I'm gonna go with ice cream. Okay. Uh, so you have like 15 minutes left before the zoo closes. You're in the zoo. Uh, and you can only hit one of the following. Uh, small mammal house, reptile house, uh, apiary. So like birds and stuff. Aviary. Apiary is bees. So the aviary with the birds are the petting zoo. So that's small mammal house, reptile house, bird house, or petting zoo. I'm going to go petting zoo. Petting zoo. And what is the best flavor of Star Trek? See, that's a tough one now. Uh, okay. Hitting me with the tough one there. Uh, I'm going to go next generation. Next gen. So from the top, we have ice cream, petting zoo, next gen on this round of radiation round. Well done, Connor. You have won the super prize. Let's see what the chat says. Not the bees. <laughs> <laughs> maybe maybe we will have to add a, just a bee room onto our weird zoo that like I, I accidentally constructed here in space. But it's like it's you know we're in international waters. We can do whatever we want in in space. Get the bee helmet, you know. Bee hel yeah, right. Totally legal up here. I mean, I'll 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 I'll, I'll invent that or I'll buy one of those bee helmets as soon as I can find my phone here in the ball pit of space. Um, yeah, but I like your idea. I'll just turn on anti grab after the after the show here. Um, but we got we got we got uh, one more feature we got to get to. It's everybody's favorite <laughs> hypothetical spectacle. Um, this is where we sort of take the essence of of Conrar and like distill it down into like you know Conrar the 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 eighties rom rom com or the breakfast cereal or or you know. Um, pretzel factory we did um but with all this video game talk i i gotta know uh what would what would uh conrar the 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 video game consist of like would you would you uh uh do hack security stuff or like like a full like grand theft auto chicago sort of thing you're in chicago like could your health be called damage compensators uh 
like what 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 would be what what would the Conrar video game involve? Well, knowing me, and if any of my friends are listening, they will agree with me wholeheartedly when I say this. Conrar the game has to be a cyberpunk FMV adventure game. Okay, okay. Easily. Sure. <laughs> um and you know, maybe we'll get Christopher Walken in this one because he was in a couple of them. So Okay. Uh so like what 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 era are you thinking? I'm I'm going nineties. Oh, going... so like Sega C D. Yeah, exactly. Okay, cool, yeah, cool, we're cool. talking like Windows ninety five. Dope. You have dope. Okay, yes. Windows, you gotta like you get that little cutscene of like, hey, huh, I almost found the, the, the treasure, but you gotta da, 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 da. all right, bye. And like one of those. So I'm talking like full FMV adventure game, like like the whole game is like it's almost like an interactive movie or something. Okay, like okay. So like psychic um, detective for like the the 3DO, if you remember that shit. Uh, uh I'm I'm thinking like, did you ever play Phantasmagoria? Yeah! Oh good call with fan Phantasmagoria. Oh god, Sierra. Did now I'm play? a big fan of the second one. The second one's where I roll. Okay, okay. You ever played that one? Me and my buddy were like diehard Sierra fans, like King's Quest and like Adventure Quest for Glory and all that stuff. And they, so like we had Sierra magazine and they just plugged the shit out of Phantasmagoria. And it was it was fine. It was like a six and a half, like a seven, but like they just they talked about it like it was gonna be this giant sea change. Um, so like I've, I know what you're talking about a lot, but I know I, I, I'll have to check out Phantasmagoria too. So, okay. We're playing, we're playing like, um, the Con Rar FMV nineties adventure. Yeah. And yeah, it's, cyberpunk. Oh, it's point so sweet. click FMV. There's gotta be, I love making cocktails. So there's gotta be some mixology thing going on. Some okay. kind of mixology puzzle of some oh, kind. There's definitely like, like a mini game, like a seventh guest yeah, kind of like making exactly. Manhattan. Uh, thing. uh, yeah. And then like damage compensator, that's gotta be some like BS item. You got to pick up in order to like get past a certain part of the game. Okay. It's that kind of moment where you like, you're talking to your buddy about the game and you're like, man, I just can't get past this part of the game. It's like, Oh, did you get the damage compensator? It's yeah. Like, oh, what? Okay. <laughs> can, can there be a part or like, uh, like you, you, you walk into a room and like the guy, like you have to, you have to properly identify like the Emacs versus like the Nova workstation. Oh my something. God. Yes. And yes, then once you absolutely. do it, like a door opens and like a wizard goes like, you found the key or like, yeah, right. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. You have to, you have to play the right wave sequence on an old wave station. Yeah. In order to, in order to access the secret room or something like that. And, and you got it to get it to work in like parallels on like a Mac from like 1996, <laughs> an Atari ST. Yes. <laughs> yeah, and and it's like even if you beat like whatever the last boss is, like there's this mission that goes, yeah, but the track wasn't dope enough. Like you gotta you gotta do it, over. dude. Your snare sucked. It's your snare, you. like shit sounded like like the fruity loops tempo template that you get when you open up the program Fuck why did here. you put a saint anger snare in here oh <laughs> yeah the game shuts off when you do that it's yeah like, it's just like your face goes like no media shit. game over yeah, save yeah. file deleted <laughs> i'm melting your atari sd right now <laughs> no more no more connor video games for you do you think it's gonna be well, let me ask you this: Like, what what's next for the mighty Conrar? So, uh, I'm currently jamming, trying to find a, I guess, a sound, a vibe that's clicking with me. Um, I obviously have that uh, performance on Saturday. Yes. And uh, I'm also working on, uh, I'm working on a track for a friend, doing uh, some production work for him. Uh, this will be his first sing, uh, oh. his first single. And he's he's going for like a Depeche Mode meets Nine Inch Nails kind of vibe, and I'm like, dude, I got it. That's so exciting. I've been working on that. Mike uh, Mega says that's classic Moon Logic. I don't know what that that. Yes, and Moon Logic. Yes, that's that's a it's an old adventure game term. Okay, okay. It's like that's like when when you just have these really BS like 
random puzzles that's like, oh, how was I supposed okay. to know that, you know? Oh, t- there was a, I call them get item, use item games where you just like, you. Have- oh, yeah. There was one called The Prophecy, and it was like, I, I turned it off because you had to use the feather on the chest. You know, you just remember dumb shit from your childhood. Like, I remember having <laughs> to use, like, the feather on the chest and then a magic orb appeared. I just got so mad. I was like, how the fuck was I ever supposed to figure that out, like, naturally? <laughs> exactly. That's like how Sierra games were, too. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, God, I used that <laughs> stupid broken wand in King's Quest on everything. Um, yeah, exactly. Oh, but quest for glory changed my life i should do a quest for glory track um so you it sounds like are we at sort of an inception point like is conra changing like with with the sort of an emotional shift in the last album you're trying to find a new direction now Ooh, yeah i don't know if i'm if i'm at like a shift sort of um i always have a mindset or like very much because I always get like random ideas of like what I want to do. And it's like, I want to do this, but mm-hmm. oh, what if I do that? Um, and it just ends up being what it is when I mm-hmm. end up, you know, working on tracks and stuff. So um, it's, I, I can't say anything right now. Okay. I'm like, well, I love who, that. Who knows what it'll be. <laughs> Cause it's like, you never, and maybe this is me injecting too much, but I think people do their, their shittiest work when they're doing an impression of themselves like oh this doesn't sound gothicals enough and then you're like making it sound like this other thing that you think people want but like people just want that honesty I yeah think yeah it's like you this is you know ghastly inverted by the numbers beat comes in oh there it is right there. i'm <laughs> falling asleep but it's like yeah maybe i just want to write a song about like wanting to curl up in a hotel room after this horrific securities conference. Um, well, cause I thought like, Oh man, maybe I want to do some kind of fun industrial dance kind of stuff, like a la excessive force or something like right. that. Or, oh, maybe I want to do something that's kind of massive attack mezzanine. Yeah, totally. Industrial, right. Yeah. But it's like, I don't know. We'll see what happens when I start putting stuff together. Yeah, that's very cool. I mean, that's where like that's where like my whole gasoline side project came from. Where it's like, yeah, I could write a song about Guardian Legend, I guess, but it's like not that's not what's in my heart right now. I yeah. <laughs> so it's it's. I mean, that Guardian Legend track will will, will have to come through. Um, it's been I haven't I haven't done a, a retro gaming kick in a while. Um, do you? Are you like an EP guy or do you think you're going to go full bore album or like something I, else? I would like to go album just because uh-huh. I've been doing a lot of EPs and it's like, I'd like to do a whole thing with, you know, some instrumental tracks thrown mm-hmm. in there, but who knows again, it's like, I, I, I don't, I'm not going to commit or plan anything. And then, you know, I come out with an EP that's yeah. like, that's like thrash metal. And people <laughs> like, oh, but you said back then. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's, I can't, I go back and forth on it because, like, it's. I'll let you. I'll tell you. Like, there's a common theme here on episode whatever we are, 170 something, a space couch. Like, <laughs> there's a shift away from albums. Like, people want to go to like EP or singles. Even you can do it yeah. in digital world, and I I get it. I just for me, it's just like the realness, if you will, of just that. Hmm, here's ten fucking four minute tracks it's the real meaty main chorus you know and not like a side dish but but then i find myself never listening to like just sitting down and listening to like all 10 tracks of like a suicide commander yeah, album or yeah. something so it's it's a interesting economy of scale maybe um i it's a bad habit i have to be like okay there's three tracks on this album i like and that i never listen to the other ones but um <laughs> you have to have those other ones because you never know yeah I think it's also with like putting out a bunch of EPs and singles is just like you have this constant flow of, and I hate to call it this, but content, you have this constant mm-hmm. flow of stuff coming out. So people will be like, oh, hey, there's a new thing. And they don't forget you, yeah. so to speak. Yeah. And, it, you know, tr- and if you're connecting yourself to stuff emotionally and it takes you like a, a year to finish an album and you're just like, well, now I got to revisit these feelings that I had about my dad or whatever like a year ago and how i feel that way <laughs> um but uh 
we are not uh, talking about a year ago. I want to do. We are on a flying. You can't see like the camera move and stuff, but like this rocket ship is is flying through space. And I'm going to bring this flying couch back at the end of the station shortly. But I want to do at least another space orbit around uh, six days from now when we get Conrar live. Toss out your Twitch channel one more time for the people, please. So Twitch channel is twitch.tv slash this underscore Connor underscore guy. And uh, just you? Sorry? Just you? Oh, yeah, just me. Cool, cool, So cool. it is, so it is uh, a whole uh, glitch mode fundraiser thing. Okay. And it's going on for like three days straight. So like there's going to be a bunch of different people. So we're all just kind of raiding into, yeah. So it'll raid into me, and then I'll be doing my thing, and then we'll raid into someone else. Effectively. Yeah. Big up to glitch mode. I, you and I talked about not talking about it before the show, but it's we got at least. Yeah. It's a thing. It's yeah. a thing. It's a thing. If you know what we're talking about, you know what we're talking about. But uh, we're gonna get back into Conrar in a second because uh, as part of that glitch mode thing, you can catch his debut live um and and uh you get i'm excited because depending on what you play you could get like oh wait i just felt i just felt my phone buzz under my butt hold on a sec <laughs> call this episode the phone saga yeah <laughs> although i'm happy to know that i have it like i'll do that like not on camera um uh, but I have the vibrator on, so I, if I don't move, I should be able to find it. Uh, we'll do glitch mode, of course. Big friend of Tiger Squawk. Uh, everybody check that out. I was going to say, you're, you have such a wide range in the Conrar uh, body already. Like, I mean, do you think of yourself as like an industrial band? Or just like electronic, kind of. <laughs> yeah. Because that's where I'm think, going with it. Like you, you got you cover a lot of bases with with this. Yeah, project. I it's think cool. I think when I talk to people, I mostly say electronic. Yeah, but mostly because a lot of people don't know what industrial yeah, is. Yeah, right. So no, I, I just say electronic and then take it from there. <laughs> right. I have to do this. There's always this weird moment at like work when people go like, "Oh, what's your band's name?" And go the Gothicals. Like, <laughs> yeah. It's like uh, so. All right, sit down with me. Yeah, right. Let's right, 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 me. Okay. <laughs> so, so this is a synthesizer. Um, yes. <laughs> but uh, let's do let's do a little bit of a of a summary, and then we'll kick it. Uh, we have out now forty nine six six six. We heard a little bit of tired today, but there's more tracks on there. It's 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 six bucks, man. Pick it up. It's great. Um, what are you gonna what are you gonna do? Listen to the black eyed peas in the cab again? No, you're gonna listen to forty nine six 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 by our guest Conrar. That is just to wet your space palette because we get live Conrar. We're gonna unzip that file live uh at uh on Conrar's uh Twitch. We'll put that link in the show notes. Um more out find Conrar, wherever you find him. Uh, we communicate on Twitch. I don't know if you want to throw your Twitch, or excuse me, uh, Twitter. I don't know if you want to throw your Twitter uh, out there. Sure. Uh, I mean, it's just uh, at Conrar Music. At Conrar Music on up. Twitter. Uh, Greg says the what on oh vibrate. Yeah, it's touching my it's touching my left um, uh, flank. Let's say that, uh, <laughs> and it's in here somewhere. Um, but that is a problem for uh, future Brian because right now present Brian is going to say uh, call the spaceships to Davenport, prepare for Devanarchy and interface with the couch. This is Brian for Space Couch for Connor for Conrar saying the catchphrase that I already said because I'm saying things out of order today. Uh, it's Space Couch. Check out Conrar or you're, you're dumb. All right. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> ah, this is the fun of the day. I mean, it's like industrial music, so like, I'm sure I'll see you within seven months. Just
just sort of like naturally, you know what I mean? Like... <laughs> All right, dude, this is great. I uh, catch you on the flip side.